Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to pre match Posh. In today's episode, we are going to be looking towards Derby away on New Year's Day. So, as always, this video is sponsored by PUFC stickers. If you'd like to collect your PUFC stickers, the link will be in our description. Um, and you can use the code BOMM5, that's Burma Mine 5, uh, in abbreviations to get 5% off all of your orders. So, boys, my first question um, for you um, is it's fourth versus third, and uh, it is a clash of two of the most informed teams in the league. How good could this game be? It's one of those where it's either going to be an incredible game of football or an absolutely terrible game of football because we'll either, you know, be it'll be a spectacle or we'll cancel each other out. Both sides of some really, really top quality players. And so I'm excited for the game. I am not very confident at all. Um, they're a side that are probably worse to play against. We never beat them. Well, we beat them last season at home, to be fair, but that was at home. But away at Pride Park, I'm really not confident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I completely agree with Charlie. It could either have one, it could be a really, really good game, three, three, two, two, or it could be nil, nil, one, one. There's, there's, there's no way you can call this fair. It's just whoever turns up on the day. Yeah, Derby away. I'm not very confident. Uh, we've got a terrible record against uh, Derby, although we did beat them at home, but but that was last season at home. But I'm not very confident. Uh, You've just said the exact same thing <laughs> as Caden. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> um, um, but no, in all, in all seriousness, um, well, I think this has every quality to be one of the best games um, of the season. You know, spectacle to look back on. Um, this really is our first, apart from, you know, you could say Cambridge, but I really do think this is our first must, must win game. Um, Derby in great form. We're in great form. You know, we're basically, we've completed half of the league season now. We've got to go out and win this game if, you know, it, it could be the difference between automatics and playoff places come the end of the season. So I think this is probably one of the most important games um, of this of, of the calendar year. Away at Derby, uh, we have a terrible record um, at Pride Park. Obviously, it's a very difficult place for us to go. Um, last season, we lost 2-1 um, with the red card that, that arguably probably wasn't. Um, a red card. Um, obviously, going into this game, it's 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 massive at the top of the table, and for where we're we're aiming to be come the end of the season. Um, do you think, as as I said earlier, this is a must-win game, or do you think that maybe you know we can afford to take a draw here? Well, I've got to say, we don't do well in front of big crowds, do we? It's um, there's the stats behind it. Um, that's why we lost so many games in the championship, um, and especially with a young team. You know, with with a big support from Derby, it, it could be a very tough one, especially with us. You know, the style of football we play, with playing it out the back, it's you know, it's going to be it's going to be a stressful one for posh fans. It's a game that we all look out for because it's a game that we look forward to. You know, they're a massive club, big stadium, great stadium, big fan base. The atmosphere will be very, very good, and they're a very good footballing team. But if, if we lose, it will be two points from the sort of three festive fixtures. And considering two out of the three of them were home games against teams lower than us in the table, it, it's not ideal. So I'd I'd like to win, but in terms of games at, on the calendar, Derby away isn't one of the ones that you look at and go, you know, oh yeah, that's that's three points there. It also, because we rotated so much for the Barnsley game, we should have a very very fit and a very fired up squad ready to go for Derby away as well. I think it's a must win in terms of that we need to it's a still be a statement win if we do get the job done. Because I think we need to pick up three points if we want if we want to go up this season. We can't go up picking up one point every single game. It's just not how it's not how it works. We need to make a statement of performance to show to the league that we're not here to make up numbers. I think we have to win on Monday. Yeah, and I agree with Tobber, you know, we've got to we've got to go and pick up three points here. Um you know we've got to pick the form back up again and um, so when i think here is going to be is going to be highly key um to push towards the end of the season and and three points um on the board finally then um peter Kyoto is definitely going back to rotherham darren mccantony has said that he won't be coming back until the summer um he will be available um for the derby match however how how big of a boost is it that we're going to have our captain for such a tough fixture 
but hopefully it will be a good send off for Kyoso at least until the summer. Um, I, and I am really hoping that we do end up signing in the summer um, because he's he's a great player. He's honestly brilliant, great captain. Um, but yeah, it should be a good send off. Yeah, I mean, it's it's great that we have Kyoso for Derby, mainly because, you know, it gives us a bit more time to get our house in order in terms of figuring out who's going to play right back for the future. You know, we have a free week after Derby pretty much. So um, that gives us a bit of time. You know, Kyoso is going to go back after Derby and having your captain at, at such a big fixture, you know, with a big, loud crowd where we're going to have to be organised, going to have to communicate, we're going to have to support each other on the pitch and the fans are going to have to support the players on the pitch. Having your captain for an affair like that is going to be really, really useful because it's his last game in a posture, at least for the foreseeable future. Um, he, he'll put in a good performance, I think. So it's a big boost to have him. It's, it's a massive boost. It's a massive boost. It's a big game. You, you want Peter Kyoso there. Just to the physical battle for the aerial battle he's just he's a very very important player i'll ask you all for your peter united goal scorers and your score predictions i think it'll be 2-1 derby um i think we'll score first and i'd like to say peter kioso scores i think a positive result um is a draw and i think we we have more than enough to get a draw i think it's going to be 1-1 one, one. I think we're going to go 1-0 up and be leading for quite a lot of the game and then concede an equaliser late. I think that our goal scorer will be... Ooh. I think it's going to be Ricky J. Jones. I'll back the boy. I think we're going to nick it. I think we're going to nick it. I think we're going to win the game 2-1. Um, Ricky J. Jones will score first, in my opinion. I reckon they'll get an early goal. I reckon it'll be, they'll lead about 25 minutes. And then... Yeah, we'll, we'll turn the burners on. We'll, we'll nick it. Uh, it's going to be 1 0 Derby. Um, and uh, Ronnie Edwards will get a yellow card. Thank you very much for watching this week's episode of Pretty Much Posh. Uh, I hope you have a lovely New Year's Day um, and, and a New Year celebration going into New Year's. Thank you all very much and for all the support um, on Borrow My Mind um, over the last few months. It's been excellent to have you all with us, and I'm excited for 2024. Uh, and for the last time of 2023, at the pash.